Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to reduce to rubble the group's hideouts in Gaza, an impoverished enclave of 2.3 million people hemmed in by an Israeli blockade for more than 15 years. He warned Gaza civilians to move away from Hamas sites as Israel's army said. It carried out airstrikes on its positions in an operation dubbed Swords of Iron. On Monday, the army declared its forces were now in control of southern communities attacked by Hamas. The army said Monday it struck 500 Hamas and Islamic Jihad sites overnight after carrying out 800 previously. Hamas's armed wing, the Ezzedine al qassam brigades, said Monday that Israeli airstrikes had killed four of the enemy's prisoners overnight. AF was unable to immediately verify the claim. The Israeli military has massed tens of thousands of troops and heavy armor near Gaza, with Palestinians bracing for a potential ground assault. Defense Minister Yo Gallant on Monday ordered a complete siege on Gaza, meaning no electricity, no food, no water, no gas. How the world has reacted. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned in the strongest terms Hamas's attack on Israel and called for diplomatic efforts to avoid a wider conflagration. Western capitals, many of whom have designated Hamas a terrorist organization, also condemned the Islamist group's assault. The European Union on Monday said it was halting development aid payments to Palestinians. Russia on Monday said creating a Palestinian state was the most reliable solution for peace in Israel and that fighting terrorism alone would not ensure security.